Hey, mm -hmm. hey, some bad news for taxpayers in California hoping to get some extra money in their pockets this tax, uh, tax season. The state is suspending the refund for the tax system, basically issuing an IOU instead. Here's the state house in Sacramento. The most populous state in the nation running out of money and quickly. A deficit that tops $40 billion. One state, $40 billion. California Congressman Darrell Issa, ranking member of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Sir, uh, welcome back here. We talked last week, Thanks. and it's good to have you back on our program. Are you going to get a refund in this or not? Well, you know, I'm not going to get a refund. Uh, fortunately, I'm one of those people that didn't overpay the state, uh, and I just rolled forward the little amount. But the fact is that California is breaking its trust, and if every state begins breaking it tr its trust, whereby if they're out of money they don't start cutting it cutting in order to be balanced we're not going to come out of this and california is one of those examples where they know they have how a deficit think, yeah how do you think your state got into this situation well governor schwarzenegger's always been right when he says our problem is not our revenue it's a spending addiction uh... the legislature has continued to grow far faster than growth, inflation, all of the indices, uh, not just on Governor Schwarzenegger's watch, not just on uh, Gray Davis's watch, but even on Pete Wilson's watch. And that fundamental change has not yet sunk in that you can't do that forever. Well, your tax revenue is down now, and you're staring at a $42 billion deficit. How are you going to climb out of this hole? <clears throat> I, I mean, it's, it's one thing to, uh, in my view, it's a slap in the face to Californians if they're not going to get the tax refund and get it in a prompt manner, and to get it, quite honestly, with interest from the state. Well, it is. And, you know, the answer to the question always is, can we get fundamental change, binding change, constitutional change, in return for whatever it takes to get out of this problem? Governor Schwarzenegger has been trying to negotiate with the legislature that wants a tax increase. And uh, at all, in every case of tax increases throughout California's recent history, since at least the 70s, the taxes are very hard to get back. And they they stay in place well into a boom era and then those excess funds that come in end up being spent so the fact that the governor has been holding uh, the line and saying I need to either get it all in, in cuts or we need to have fundamental change is the right approach well I uh, it's hard for me to see economically how these people are going to get their money in due course if the debt's going to continue to mount I mean unless you get that off your books it seems to me like the state's taking a position that they're not going to write the checks. Well, clearly the state is, is ignoring the obvious, which is that you can get the money. You can get it in a short-term uh, bond, a three-, four-, five-year bond. Yes, you're going to pay 7 or 8 percent double tax-free, uh, and then you can refinance those when times get better. One of the reasons they're not doing that, quite frankly, is that they're hoping that somehow the federal government will come in and supply a substantial for portion of that $40 billion at as a grant and thus they'll never have to pay it back i think that's a, a fool's waiting game well uh, listen i've got to go i'm out of time but i appreciate your time today the california congress Daryl i said uh, uh, you know california sometimes can set the trend for a lot of other states absolutely let's hope this isn't one one uh one uh one of them uh thank you sir thank you're you. very welcome so